you're going to suck at your first job. But after watching this video, you're going to suck a little bit less. Hello and welcome back to Capo TV, the channel where we know school was a joke and now you have to live with it. Your first job can be a train wreck. You're in a new place with new people and you don't know what to expect. But it doesn't have to be a complete disaster. So let's talk about a few reasons why you'll suck at your first job and what you can do about it. One of the biggest reasons you'll suck at your first job is because you're lazy. When you're in school, especially up through high school, you're required by law to show up there. But when you're at your first job, there's no more of that. And don't fall for the idea that it's going to be easier to get out of bed when you're getting paid to go to work. Do you know how many times in my short life that I've been on the way to work and I thought, hmm, maybe today I'll just drive by and go home. But then I thought, can I really afford to get fired, lose my income, lose a reference, possibly have trouble getting a job in the future, and then starve to death? The point is, at your first job, if you just show up with a good work ethic, you show up on time, and you take pride in your work, you're going to be better than 99% of the other employees at that company. The next reason you'll suck at your first job is because you have little to no real life skills. The whole time you're in school, all you're doing is sitting at a desk, listening to a teacher, and probably filling out worksheets. Unless you work for the IRS, you're not going to be filling out a lot of worksheets at your first job. Don't just type an essay to hand it in to get a grade so you can pass the class. What I'm saying is learn to use that word processor inside and out. Or maybe start a YouTube channel and learn a little bit about internet marketing. The fact is, employers want to know what you've done and what you can do for them. So learn a skill and take it to your first job. The next reason you'll suck at your first job is because you can't take criticism and you're not coachable. I was an assistant ice hockey coach for a local prep school for a couple of seasons and during tryouts the head coaches taught me one simple yet powerful idea. The ideal player is someone who's coachable. They understood that you needed a few super talented players for clutch moments, but in general, what they looked for was someone who was coachable. And being coachable means that you're able to take criticism and act on it to improve your own abilities. In fact, what would happen with the super talented players if you tried to give them some advice, they would get offended, shut down, and do whatever they wanted on the ice. Real dumb. So at your first job, be humble, be coachable, make yourself better, and your employer will love it. Another reason you'll suck at your first job, you have bad time management. When you're in school, bells tell you what to do. Teachers tell you what to do. Principals tell you what to do. Your parents tell you what to do. Pretty much your whole day is laid out for you. You don't really get a lot of opportunities to manage your own time for productive activity. And when you do get a big chunk of time to do whatever you want to do, you spend it watching YouTube, Netflix, playing video games. But at your first job, take control of your time and when you're on the clock, get things done. Any employer, no matter where you go, likes knowing that they don't have to babysit you. And just like that, you're better than 99% of the employees that you're going to work with at your first job. If you'll be starting your first job soon, leave a comment down below and let me know if this video helped you. And if you have tips for other first time job holders, leave a comment down below also. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.